everybody. So here we are on the bus today. We uh, put some tape on the ground to sort of figure out our flooring plan and we are starting on the framing. So we've got um, one little edge here going on the one side. We're gonna hope to have like a front facing like shelving unit here. And this will also be like the arm of the couch coming in here. Um, <clears throat> so this first section is just gonna be couch here. This will also be like couch, but it'll be like an ottoman that'll hopefully like modular out. And then we'll have like a table that we can put here to like eat at and stuff. And then in this section here will also be couch. Um, back here is gonna be our whole bed and we are gonna have like another pony wall, same height right there, coming right here. Um, and this is gonna be a full wall. So we got, you know, a little bit of privacy into the bedroom, which will be nice. Coming back up to the front, we got this right here is gonna be the shower. And uh, I'm gonna be a little cramped, but uh, it'll be okay, you know? I'm gonna do like a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Um, yeah. 13, yeah. Uh, so, sorry, 13 inches is how high the flooring is going to come up for underneath the cushions of the couch, just so you know. Anyway, so past the couch, we're going to have the sink's going to be right here. And we did just check underneath the bus earlier. There should be room for a 25-gallon gray water tank right underneath where the shower is going to be. So we'll have to, like, drill out a little hole to make sure that it runs down into the tank, which should be plenty of space. Um, it's just going to be gray water, so pretty simple. And then, so yeah, like I said, sink's going to be here kitchen area. We're hoping to put um, a DC. I'm not sure if we're going to be Dometic, but we looked at some Dometic ones, different ones online. Uh, a chest fridge. Looks pretty nice. It's going to take up most of the space down here. There should be like three separate cabinet spaces um, underneath the kitchen area. So hopefully lots of room to get things done. We're really excited about getting this all taken care of and framed out because it's going to be looking even more like our future home. Fix a box. Take two. <laughs> or is it take three? Who knows? <laughs> uh, no more counting at this point. But you know what I'm pretty sure you were the one that said, no more f ups. <laughs> you guys would have given me the right measurement. Hey, you know what? <laughs> Maybe he wrote it down correctly and just cut it wrong. Okay. And that's how you make a box. <laughs> Couch looking, babe. <laughs> As opposed to this one. Well, this would leave room for battery box. Battery. Well, this inverter, everything goes to the battery, right. the shut off switch, there's all kinds of shit. Right. Yes. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put the hole right here. Okay. Okay. Can Let's I drill it. it? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it this time. This one won't be as easy to just pull out. Because it's not on the edge. No, definitely not. 100% certain this okay. time, right? Okay. <laughs> I am. Okay. I am. One. 
Oz account. It's got to be on the channel, though. Yeah, make sure it's on the channel. Well, if you do it. I don't want to do it. You don't want to do it, or you do? I, I don't want to do it. <laughs> You're responsible for not having the channel. <laughs> You're gonna hit the channel just great, babe. Can you hand me that screw or that nail? You don't need to measure that way. I know, I'm just making a straight line, Dad. She's making sure she's hitting the channel. You're making a straight line? I don't think yeah. you want to get a square. Because I asked you to a square 17 hours ago and you never brought it to me, so. I'm doing it the way that you do it, Dad. I'm confident in my ability to hit the channel. Let me see it. What? Let me see the line where you were, where you want to do it. Here? Yeah, I want to see where you were putting it down. Here. That's the. This is it right here. Right. So you want to be in the middle of it, right? Which is literally perfectly exactly lined right. with the stud. Which I just perfectly lined it up with the stud. So I think your hole's right. Yeah. So you just go right in the middle of the stud, and you should be fine. Back up. Okay, this side. Where should we crank it down? Yeah, yeah. This guy. What the f? Oh, you're going backwards. That's well, not now. I wasn't. I just did that. Okay, I'll just get her gone. Not so hard. Let's go. It's hard enough. Okay, that's done. You're not filming right now? I am filming right now. Oh. <coughs> Got David over here whistling Talk by Khalid. Papa Yordi's into the, the hip music. Hip the young hip young people music. <clears throat> Why are you no come out? Come on. Come on. There it is. There we go. Okay. Another souvenir. Huh? <laughs> That's a hit channel. Caldwell. That's a hit channel if I ever saw one. <laughs>
a great day, even though we didn't uh, like come out with a really like distinct plan. We got a lot done. I feel like um, there's a uh, you know the wiring's mostly finished in terms of like roughing it out. We've got a kind of we've got a little bit more to do there, but I mean it's not going to be another like only one one more day's worth of work. I think. Yeah, and we're missing one um, gauge wire. So all of the wiring that we've done thus far is for well, all the yellow wiring is for one ten. Uh, As I said. And then all of the the 14 gauge, this is the red wire, is for um, 12 volt. But the thing is, is that all of these 12 volt appliances, the water pump, the furnace, the um, which is really just for the ignition ignition on the furnace, and then the uh, the lights, they're all really low voltage. The one thing that we have that is 12 volt that is not low voltage is the fridge, and so. We ran around trying to find um, red black combined 12 2 wire and could not find it anywhere in town. We literally looked everywhere. Um, we found custom. some 10 gauge at one place, but it was really thick. He did say that he would be getting 12 2 combined um, in in the next week, so we're just waiting for that. So we will have to run one more from here over to the other side over there for a. 12 volt outlet for the fridge because we are going to have a 12 volt a chest fridge that runs both on 12 volt and 110 so when we're connected to shore power it can run off of 110 but when we're not it can run off of 12 volt and it doesn't have to go through the inverter super convenient there we'll be we're essential. learning lots about power and electricity electricity is and confusing inverters and gauge wire and volts versus amps versus amp hours and there's so much there's a lot to learn it's very confusing but we're kind of like getting a grasp of it, I feel like. And I think so. We just downloaded schematics. Bluebird has a really fancy website where you can just type in your body number or your VIN and it'll give you specific schematics for your very bus. So we've got those going and we're going to study them up and figure out what we need to do next. Anyways, we'll see you guys next time. Be sure to like and subscribe. Ha ha! Literally... <laughs> Thanks, babe. Thanks. All right. Later, guys. Bye.